Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. Best for business. Windows XP Professional shines as a business operating system. Get more work done faster, easier, anytime, anywhere. Safe and easy personal computing. Thanks to Windows XP, personal computing just got a whole lot easier and more fun. Unlock the world of digital media. Windows XP is your ticket to exciting digital media at home and on the internet. The connected home and office. Get connected. Windows XP makes it easy to share and link computers. See for yourself how easy Windows XP is to use. Take this brief tour. To begin the tour, click any selection. Friendly new screens, simplified menus, and a whole lot more. Discover Windows XP's fresh, streamlined design. Get acquainted with key tasks and basic commands. The Windows Desktop. Using Windows XP is simple. First you'll see the large colored area on the screen called the desktop and the narrow band at the bottom called the taskbar. Everything you can do on your computer appears inside frames that are called windows. You can open as many windows at one time as you like and resize them, move them around, or restack them in any order. Icons. The small pictures you see on the desktop are called icons. Think of them as doorways to the files and programs stored on your computer. Place your mouse over an icon. Text appears identifying its name or contents. To open the file or program, double-click the icon. Shortcut icons, identified by the small arrow on the lower left, let you access programs, files, folders, disk drives, web pages, printers, even other computers. And because desktop shortcuts simply supply links to those files or devices, you can add and delete their icons without affecting the actual programs or files. The first time you start Windows XP, you'll see only one icon, the Recycle Bin, where you can send files you wish to delete from your computer. Taskbar. Every time you open a window, a button representing it appears on the taskbar, and it disappears when you close a window. The taskbar also contains the Start button and Notification area, where you'll see the clock. Other buttons can appear temporarily, showing the status of ongoing activities. For instance, the Printer button appears when you send a file to the printer and disappears when printing is complete. You'll also be reminded here when new Windows updates are available to download from the Microsoft website. Windows XP keeps the taskbar tidy by consolidating buttons when too many accumulate. For example, buttons representing individual emails are automatically grouped under a single email button. Clicking the button lets you select an email from a convenient menu. Start Menu the Start menu appeared automatically the first time you ran Windows XP. You can return to the Start menu anytime by clicking the Start button on the taskbar. The Start menu contains everything you need to begin using Windows. You can start programs, open files, customize your system, get help, search for items on your computer, and more. Some commands on the Start menu have a right-facing arrow. That means additional choices are available on a secondary menu. Place your pointer over an item with an arrow and another menu appears. The left side of the Start menu updates with links to the programs you use most frequently. At the top left are fixed items, shortcuts to things like your internet browser and email program. Files and folders. Your computer is like a desk with file drawers. Each piece of work or file can be stored in a folder. Windows XP makes it easy to store files where they make the most sense. Place text, image, and music files in the folders titled My Documents, My Pictures, and My Music. 
They also offer convenient links to the tasks you'll perform most often. Windows. Windows display the contents of files and programs. Working with Windows is easy when you know the basics. The name of the window appears at the top in its title bar. Minimize a window to shrink it to a button on the taskbar. Maximize a window to fill the screen or restore it to its original size. Inside a window, browse the menus to see the different commands and tools you can use. When you find the command you want, just click it. If a program needs some information from you before it can complete a command, a dialog box appears. To enter information, you might click and type, select a choice in a list, choose just one option, or check off one or more options that you want. If the contents of your file don't fit in the window in one glance, simply scroll the window to move the contents up, down, or sideways, or drag the contents into view. Control Panel. Customizing your computer settings is simple with the Windows XP Control Panel. Just open it from the Start menu. Here's where you can change the way Windows XP looks and acts, add and remove programs or hardware devices, set up network connections, user accounts, and more. Ending your session. When you want to interrupt your Windows session and let someone else use the computer, go to the Start menu. That's where you can log off and switch users, and Windows XP will be ready to welcome a different user. When everyone's finished, you can turn off the computer. The next time you log on, the welcome screen will be the first you'll see. Just click your name, type your password if you have one, and you'll be back at the Windows desktop. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Let me tell you a little about how I work. If I am in your way, you can move me anywhere on the screen. Just place the mouse pointer on my head or body and hold down the left mouse button as you move the mouse. When you let go of the mouse button, I'll drop into my new position. Go ahead and try it. Great. Now to drop me, just release the mouse button. Good job. Feel free to move me whenever I am in your way. If you ever want to interrupt me, I won't even be insulted. Just click on me and I'll instantly stop talking. I'll even show you a menu so you can decide what you want to do next. I'm available to help you at any time. If you don't think you'll need me for a while, you can hide me. To do this, click me and then select Exit the HP Tour Guide from the menu. Once I am hidden, you can bring me back again. By double-clicking the HP Tour Guide icon on the desktop. That's how I work. Which tour would you like to see next? In this tour, I briefly describe many of the icons on the desktop and give you a short tour of the start menu on taskbar. Remember, if you ever want me to pause or stop the tour, just click on me. The desktop is the main screen background in Windows. On the desktop you see a number of icons. An icon is a small graphic that represents a program, folder, or document. These icons provide quick access to the programs and folders used most often. On the edge of the desktop is the taskbar. This is the start button. You can use the start button to open programs and documents, change system settings, and search for files. An important option on the start menu is shut down. Select shut down when you are ready to turn off your computer. This area of the taskbar shows a button for each window that is currently open. To switch to a different window, just click its button on the taskbar. 
This part of the test bar is called the system tray. It has special icons for changing computer settings. For example, the icon that looks like a speaker allows you to set the speaker volume. The system tray also displays a clock. To change the time or date, double click the clock. That covers the basics of the Windows desktop. Choose another tour.